Yeah, they be like, who is this Mickey Truth girl? Who qualifies her to put a work on these people? What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, aka the queen of paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act. And any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. Blow, up, blow the fuck up because you're standing on truth. A lot of young people that's starting out like yourself, they're not interested in the truth. You understand? They want right. the clicks. Even if it's lies. You, you feel me? Exactly. So it's important that you set yourself out as being different. I agree with that. That's how you grow. You have my permission. Shout out to Dion Gatlin. Free cuff, okay? Um, yo, know, it made me when this came down the pipeline to me, it made me just think of him. Um, he's currently in federal um prison during time. I'll be doing an update story on him also very soon. But as I've been getting this information in regards to J Bo who is part of BMF or was part of BMF, okay? He um, went down on a big indictment with Big Meech, right? Being arrested on a new indictment, I was like, yo, what? And again, it made me think of Cuff because, again, Cuff was associated with um, BMF, Big Meech, all that. Like I said, I'm going to do the story for sure, okay? Um, let's get into it. A lot of y'all been like, yo, Mickey, you capping. Ain't no way. We don't see it nowhere. No big sites or nothing is stayed in it. Well, first and foremost, I'm gonna need for y'all just to start doing some homework. Live just a little bit. You ain't gotta do too much. All right. So when I got the information, what I did, of course, for those who don't know, I covered the BMF case earlier this year. So I was um, familiar with a lot of the players involved, including J Bo. So all I did was definitely um Look up on the BOP because you know at the end of the day, okay, whether you do a little bit of time or a lot of time, it's going to always stay in the BOP. So we take a look over here, and it's going to say right here, Chad Brown, um, 51 years old, unknown, release date, Los Angeles, MDC, right? So to me, I'm like, okay, because obviously it's not Wallace, okay, because if you look up his original indictment from the BMF actual indictment, that's not him. So, again, process of elimination. So, with that being said, again, it doesn't tell us, you know, um, what's what, but it gives us enough to go on. So, with that being said, let's take a look and shout out to VOTP News, all right? And it says here, more than two dozen arrested and round up of members and associates of the Black Mafia family more than two dozen people were arrested this week in connection with charges including drug trafficking and financial crimes, U.S. Attorney Sailor A. Fleming said Thursday. The arrest by the U.S. Marshal, federal agents, and local police follow a series of grand jury indictments. 34 people have been charged in connection with the investigation, most in the past few weeks. During the arrest and associated court-approved searches, officers and agents recover a large quantity of fentanyl, pounds or of metamphetamines, I can never say that right, firearms and cash. In detention hearings Thursday, prosecutors described the arrestees as members or associates of the Black Mafia family, for those who don't know, BML. A motion seeking to have one of the defendants jailed until trial says the BMF hold itself out of a drug trafficking and money laundering organization, distributing large quantities of narcotics in the St. Louis area and elsewhere. One of the defendants, Chad Brown, calls himself the junior boss of BMF. Another detention motion says and has discussed drug trafficking by BMF and multiple videos posted on various social media platforms. It says these indictments and arrests targeted an organization that did not just limit their crimes to drug trafficking, said the U.S. attorney, Sailor Fleming. Others have been accused of laundering money of the organization or taking advantage of the coronavirus um, pandemic to fraudulently obtain thousands of dollars in loans that were intended for struggling businesses and employees. Those indicted include 
Chad E. Jabo Brown, 51, as I showed y'all just a few minutes ago, indicted on one count of bank fraud and one count of using false writing or document. He is accused of submitting a fraudulent IRS Schedule C form to obtain a PPP loan. Robert L. Lewis, 45, was indicted on four counts of fentanyl distribution and one count of being a felon in the possession of a firearm. Robert Onyx Sims, 40, was indicted on one count of conspiracy to distribute 500 grams or more of mixture containing methamphetamines. Samir Simpson Bay, 37, was indicted on one count of distribution of 40 grams or more of fentanyl. Jeremy Wheelow, still. Uh, I don't know who these people are, however, um, was indicted on one count of conspiracy to distribute 400 grams or more of fentanyl and 500 grams or more of mixture containing methamphetamine. Carl Von Garrett, 53, was indicted on one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering and two counts of money laundering in an indictment, which alleges that nearly $1 million of drug proceeds were laundered between March and May 2021. Tilf J, Tilf BMF, Nelson, 42, was indicted on one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering and four counts of money laundering. She is accused of laundering the proceeds of illegal activity. It then says, anytime we are able to dismantle an organization involved in selling the big four, fentanyl, methamphetamine, heroin, and cocaine, it's a big deal said Special Agent in Charge Michael A. Davis, head of the Drug Enforcement Administration Division that leads DEA investigation in Missouri, Kansas, and Southern Illinois. When I say this is wild, I'm not even going to lie. All right, so this is still a development story. The actual indictment has not been revealed yet. However, my source, as I provided to you, have broken down the ins and outs so far, but it can be confirmed that j aka Chad Brown, has been arrested on federal charges, and they're calling it BMF-related crimes. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up on your girl, Mickey Truth, and as always, go over to MickeyTruth.com and get you that merch, because you know your girl stay with that work. And before I go, free cuff. Holla! No matter what you go through, do what you got to do and conquer the world.